afternoon, everybody. On behalf of the Knights of Lithuania Council One, I want to thank you for this opportunity to once again recognize Lithuanian Independence Day, February 16th, the day the Republic of Lithuania was established, and also St. Casimir's Feast Day, and also the restoration of Lithuania's independence. It reminds us of the struggle so many, even today, face in countries around the world who repress and subjugate their citizens, preventing them from freely exercising their right of free speech, right to vote, or right to practice their religion. We are truly blessed here in the United States that we have so many constitutional rights to protect us. We pray that soon people in all countries can have the many freedoms we take for granted here. The Knights of Lithuania motto is for God and country, and several generations of Americans of Lithuanian ancestry have protected this country and supported the people of Lithuania in their struggle to restore their independence from the Soviet Union, which we can proudly say happened again in, in 1991. The Knights of Lithuania will celebrate its 107th anniversary this summer at our annual national convention. What a long-lived organization. And its first council was established here in Brockton in 1913 in the parish hall of St. Rocco Church, which was renamed St. Casimir in the 1950s. As always, it is a source of pride when somebody says, oh, my grandmother, grandfather, or uncle's wife is Lithuanian too. It's always exciting to share a little bit about the culture and language with them. We are so happy that you are here to celebrate with us at our St. Casimir Lithuanian Heritage Day. It's always fitting to begin with Mass and join together at this dinner. Our cultural program are the dancers from Sambodis Lithuanian Dance Group of Boston. This group is the oldest in the United States and was established in 1937. Two of the original dancers and lifelong members of the Lithuania Veronica Bizenkowskis and Francis Bomilla are here today. Ladies, will you, will you show yourselves? There's Francis over here, and uh, I'm sure Ronnie's running around. So uh, there she is. So they were six years old when they joined Sambudis. My lifelong, my lifelong friend Vitani Sanota had prepared a talk about Admiral Fred Bakutis. Vitanis unfortunately can't join us today. I am saddened to share with you the news of his, of his mother, Luda Sinatiena, passed away on Thursday at the beautiful age of 98. She was a parishioner at St. Casimir for 60 years before she moved to New Hampshire to live with her granddaughter. Luda's wake will be on Wednesday from 4 to 8 p.m. at Wade Funeral Home, and her funeral will be here at St. Michael's on Thursday at 10 a.m. A little about Vitanis, who prepared this speech. His parents escaped from Lithuania during World War II and eventually made it to Brockton. His dad, Vaslavas, was an engineer and a marvelous craftsman. His mother, Luda, a teacher by training, worked sewing in a small factory in Brockton, but spent Saturday teaching at Lithuanian school. She dedicated decades to doing this and was, in fact, my daughter Vilia's teacher. So, it will be my honor to share some information about Admiral Bakutis while you're enjoying your dinner. In the meantime, I ask you to spend a moment and let's say a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The ladies of the uh, council will come along selling raffle tickets for $5 each or 5 for 20 And as always, your generosity is appreciated for our only fundraising activity of the year. Also, you are invited to partake of soup at your leisure, and somebody will come around and ask each table to go through the buffet line. So thank you very much. Skanaus apatitu, as they say in Lithuanian, and we'll look forward to chatting with you again in a few minutes. Thank you. Can I have everyone's attention, please, while we're um, eating this delicious food? Um, I'd like to recognize uh, some elected officials and representatives of elected officials that have taken time out of their very busy schedules to join us today. Uh, first of all, um, I'd like to call to the podium um, our 
state representative uh, from the 10th Plymouth District. And I hope I'm doing that right, Michelle. 10th yeah. Plymouth, Plymouth District. Michelle Dubois, please give her a hand. Hello, everyone. Um, is this on? Can yeah. you hear me? Okay, great. Please uh, forgive the bandaid on my nose. I suffer from eczema. And with the, um, the weather changing, I've had some eczema issues. And I figured better safe than sorry with the Band-Aid and the coronavirus going around. I want to God, I say God bless all of you. And thank you, uh, Father, for having us here and for allowing us to be here today. I'm honored to be many of your state representative. I've been your state representative now for five years. And prior to that, I was a city councilor for 10 years in Ward 6. And prior to that, I was a parishioner at St. Casimir's my whole life. So I've made all my sacraments, except for marriage. I got married in California. I made all my sacraments out of St. Casimir's. I loved it. The people were so kind and generous to myself and my family. And I'm honored to be here today with you and my mom, Diane. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Michelle. <clears throat> Michelle, as Michelle mentioned, she was a former Ward 6 uh, uh, Brockton's, for people that aren't familiar with Brockton, Brockton is divided into seven wards. Ward 6 is where most of the uh, Lithuanians, the Lithuanian immigrants settled in Brockton. Uh, as Michelle mentioned, she was the former Ward 6 counselor. I'd like to now introduce the current Ward 6 counselor, Jack Lally. <laughs> Oh, wow, you really do you have, have to You have to hold it just the right way. Hello? There you go. Yeah. You got to hold it like that. All right. I made a discovery. I, I lost it. No, you got to hold it the right the way. Hello? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to go without it. We good? All right. I get to yell indoors. This is my favorite part of the job. Yeah. Uh, all right. My name's Jack Lally. I'm the city councilor for Ward 6. I've been the counselor. This is my fifth year. Um, you know, and uh, I think... What? I, um, I've, I've enjoyed... I, the, the mic does not... Oh, is it working? Okay. I cannot move a muscle. All right. So I've been the counselor for five years. I, uh, I think it's, it's absolutely fantastic. We've, we've been able to get a, a whole lot done. Uh, and I'm very proud to represent, you know, an area like the village. Because the village, you know, I'm, I'm Irish, I'm not, I'm not Lithuanian, don't hold it against me. But, uh, you know, I, I, see a lot of, I see a lot of similarities. You know, the, the Lithuanians came and they, they stuck together. And they didn't, you know, they didn't just walk away from who they were. You know, as evidenced by, by everything we've got going on today, uh, you know, Lithuanians are proud to be Lithuanians. They know why they're Lithuanians. They know what it means to be Lithuanian. And I think that's, I think that's fantastic. That's what you really want, uh, you know, in a people, in a culture. And, you know, I'm, I'm proud to represent Ward 6, and I'm, pr and I'm proud to represent the Lithuanian village. I'm, you know, not, not, a, not as proud, but I am very proud that I figured out how to get the mic to work, too. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, but we're, uh, you know, we're, we're starting another legislative session, uh, you know, in the city of Brockton. You have your counselors at large. You have your ward counselors. We are your representation. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if by some surprising reason you have a pothole, Give us a call, please. That's our job. So, uh, you know, I'll be around. I'm sure, uh, you know, other representatives will come through. Uh, but absolutely, if, if you've got something on your mind, give me a call. Come up and say hi. Whatever works. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. As most of you, or as maybe some of you know, um, we have a new, very energetic mayor in Brockton, Bob Sullivan. And um, he has, uh, since he took his, his oath January 6th, he's been 
almost everywhere, okay? He has a very busy s schedule. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it today. He has other commitments. But I'd like to uh, introduce his representative that's here from City Hall, Jensen, to come up and give greetings uh, from Bob. Hello, everyone. My name is Jensen Denoyce. I'm from the mayor's office. Uh, unfortunately, Mayor Sullivan wasn't able to be here today, but he's truly honored for this event. The Lithuanian. He's truly honored for this event, the Lithuanian Heritage Day event. It's a, a wire. I know. Yeah. yeah. And um, in the mayor's office, we're also proud of this event. You're educating the community about the Lithuanian culture, and we want you to know that Brockton is here for you. And I just want to say thank you, and Mayor Sullivan wants to say thank you as well. One last person I'd like to introduce, and uh, he asked uh, not to say anything, and that's a little bit strange for a radio host, which he does on the side, okay? But um, our state senator, Senator Michael Brady, couldn't make it today either, okay? And representing him is um, one of his aides, Ed Miller. Ed, take a bow. <laughs> thank you, Ed. And thank you to Mike. Uh, Ed is also a uh, Brockton's representative for the census. As you know, um, there's, uh, well, uh, there's, there's two important issues this year. Probably the most important presidential election in history and um, the census count. Okay, um, ten years ago, Brockton was seriously undercounted. And the people that are working the census are trying to change that trend this year. So Ed is Brockton's representative, and he's also the recruiter for people that may want a very well-paying part-time job. And the um, I believe the the pay is somewhere in the vicinity of twenty-two to twenty-two dollars an hour, okay, which isn't bad for part-time work. So if anyone's interested or has any questions about the census or interested in perhaps working the census, uh, please see Ed at the end of this. Thank you. I think so. So I, I'll regale you with a wonderful talk about uh, Fred Edward Bakutis, a Brockton resident. You're, please continue eating. Please continue with seconds. It'll give us a few minutes to uh, clear out the kitchen before the dancers dance. Vitanis had prepared this for today. And you, as you may or may not know, Vitanis works for the Navy. And so this is about a very famous Navy admiral, Fred Edward Bakutis. Fred Edward Bakutis was born in Brockton, Massachusetts on November 4, 1912, son of Frank and Anna Bakutis. He attended Brockton Public Schools and after graduation from high school in 1930, was appointed to the U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland, which he entered in June 16, 1931. As a midshipman, he was the captain of the track team in 1935 was a member of the team for three years, and for two years played with the NA-10 Dance Orchestra. He graduated and commissioned ensign in the U.S. Navy on June 6th, 1935. He subsequently progressed in rank to that of Rear Admiral to the date from January 1st, 1963. After graduation in 1935, he was assigned to the cruiser SS Chester in which he served as junior officer, later division officer, until January 1st, 1938. He then reported to the Naval Air Station in Pensacola, Florida, where he completed flight training and was designated Naval Aviator. Detached in March of that year, he reported a month later to Scouting Squadron 3, based on the USS Saratoga. In September of 1941, he returned to Annapolis for instruction in aeronautical engineering at the Naval Postgraduate School, 
But at the outbreak of World War II, he was ordered to the Naval Aircraft Factory in Philadelphia, where he served as inspector of arresting gear until September 1942. In October, he joined the fighting squadron based on the USS Lexington and had duty for a year as executive officer of that squadron of the FS6 Hellcats. In October, he assumed command of a similar squadron based on the USS Enterprise, which with her air groups won the Presidential Unit Citation for Heroic Service in the Pacific. Remaining in command of that squadron until February 1945, he served the remaining months of hostilities in the Naval Department in Washington, D.C., attached to the Office of the Naval Operations in Bureau of Aeronautics. During the war, he participated in strikes on Bonas, Palau, Philippines, Formosa, Okinawa. He was shot down by the Japanese destroyer which he was attacking and was adrift for seven days in a raft in the Sulu Sea. And he was picked up by the submarine Hardhead and transferred to take a, to Perth, Aust Australia. He was awarded the Navy Cross, Legion of Merit with Combat and Distinguished Flying Cross, Gold Star, in lieu of second, the Bronze Star Medal with Combat V in Air Medals and six Gold Stars. My goodness, all of these citations. He received the Navy Cross for extraordinary heroism as a pilot fighter, plane commanding officer and fighting squadron of 20 attached to the USS Enterprise during the operation against enemy Japanese forces in the battle for the Layette Gulf in 1944. Aggressively leading a small search group on a strike against an enemy task force, Commander Bakuta succeeded in locating the concentration of hostile vessels and immediately re reported the location. Then launching a brilliant attack on the Japanese ship, he fought his plane gallantly, gently, uh, into the face of the withering barrage of acute anti-aircraft fire and gunfire from the ba main batteries, personally scoring direct hits with his rockets on a battleship and contributing in large measure to the damaging of one cruiser and two other battleships. He received a legion of merit for this. Lieutenant Bakutis imbued the pers personnel under his command with his own indomitable spirit of aggressiveness, rapidly developing a fighting team characterized by exceptional discipline, courage, and combat skills, maintaining a smoothly coordinating organizations and complement of more than double. He constantly drilled his pilots in fundamentals as well as advancing. Completing his post-war tour of duty with the Navy Department in 1947, he was ordered to the USS Tarawa for duty as a group commander, and during the June, he commanded the Valley Forge. Four months duty as training officer in the staff of Commander Fleet, West Coast. He was assigned to the Naval War College. He is entitled to the ribbon and facsimiles of the unit, a Navy, Unit Commendation Awards in the USS Valley. From June 1953 to 55, he served as staff commander, and he continued on until 1960, when he was assigned to the Office of Naval Operations in the Navy Department. And in addition to all of these wonderful things, he was sent to Alaska, and he was also sent to the Antarctica on behalf of the U.S. Navy, and he named a portion of Antarctica Brockton. So if you look, there is a Brockton, Antarctica. So that was uh, one of the things that Admiral Bakutis did. And so it's very exciting and wonderful to know that a young man from Brockton managed to accomplish so much in the U.S. Navy. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, very soon we'll start our entertainment. Thank you. Am I okay? All right. Lava uh, Vakara said good evening, everybody. Um, on behalf of Sambudis, Lithuanian Folk Dance Group of Boston, we are 
very excited to be here to perform a couple dances for you tonight. Uh, this is our, about half of our student group performing here this evening, and they will be doing uh, a couple of the dances uh, that you will be seeing um, if you come to Philadelphia this July for the 16th Lithuanian Folk Dance Festival. It's going to be, I think, the third one in a row on the East Coast after Boston and the greater community, including Brockton, created a trend when we hosted uh, Lithuanian Folk Dance Festival back, like, was it eight years ago? Um, went to Baltimore from there, now up to Philadelphia. So mark your calendars for July 4th weekend. Uh, there will be over 2,000 dancers and some Buddhists will be participating. Um, and so we are going to do um, a selection of dances for you tonight. I will not speak a lot when we get going because I need to unplug the microphone so we don't trip. Uh, but I will let you know we are doing a couple dances. Uh, the first one, uh, Yo Yo Ish Yo Yo, uh, is a dance specially created for the upcoming Folk Dance Festival. Um, it it, it uh, represents the um, the uh, young men and ladies uh, riding out into the fields to begin the day's work. Um, that dance will be followed by um, another dance uh, called Gergotelia Tupe. Gergotelia Tupe is a, am I doing okay? Almost. Gergotelia Tupe is um, a love themed dance about uh, two young birds uh, that the dance represent who uh, dance with each other. Uh, that will be followed by two fun, fast polkas that are probably ones you know and love. One, Suktinis, which everyone here has done at least once. And then a, a recent popular favorite, Polka Ovo. Uh, we hope you enjoy the dances. Uh, feel free to clap along if you like the music. Uh, and without further ado, here is Sambudis. <laughs>
you on your travels to the upcoming Folk Dance Festival. Be sure to get your desserts. We'll bring our raffle tables back out. Last chance to get raffle tickets and we'll finish up the evening. All righty. There we go. Everybody ready? There's a lot of cars in here. Ooh. Okay. It's a black card. It says Queen's Casino. Okay, Queen's Casino and it's the Four of Diamonds. Black card with the Queen's Casino on the back. Woohoo! So check the back of your card. Is it black? Queen's Casino? Queen's, Queen's! All right! Woohoo! You got your shorts. Yeah! Awesome! You got the Queen? Beautiful! Yay! Choose away, good sir. You get a choice. Yay. Yeah. No, darling. Okay. Well, you have to matching one, right? No, no, no. Where's that? Oh, all right, tell him to me. Oh, I can share them. Yeah. P. Cooper. All right, so the winner is Peter. Peter Cooper. Peter Cooper is the winner. So, all right, yay. All right, John, why don't you pick the next one? All well, Sue takes care of Pete Cooper. What do we got? Do we have a name? Okay. Um, this is a Texas. It has PJB. P PJB. Oh, Texas. Okay, Paul? Yep. All right. Yay. Next. Pick another one, John. Oh boy. Oh boy, PJB again? John, you didn't shake him up good enough. All right. All right, so let's grab another one. No, no, you can't look at it. You have to Well, you can mix them up. It's okay. All right. Got another one? Yep. All right, we have Val. Woo hoo, Val. Suze, I guess this is your Caesar's Palace. Valerie, did you win Caesar's Palace? It says Val S. It got to be you? Yep. Yay, come grab a prize. All right, yay. Pick a ticket. Let's, let's keep our raffle going. Val, pick a prize. I said, come pick a prize and then grab a ticket. All right. Grab the next winner. <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right, we have a blue one. Blue, and it's the Paris Casino. It's a beautiful shade of blue Paris Casino, and it's the Ten of Spades. Who's got Paris Casino? And is it the Paris Casino? Is it blue? Does it say Paris Casino? Do you want to pick another yes, one? You pick, you pick the next one. Excellent. Oh. oh. Who's this one? PJB. Yeah. All right. Can you, well, so we have uh, Paul Bamella won another one. Oh, boy. I guess he bought a couple hundred tickets. So uh, can somebody else pick another winner? Can I take this one? Yeah. Yep, you can. Hey, John, why don't you grab it? Okay, yep, I'll try. <laughs> uh, All right. Oh boy. 
Val, uh, Sue, is this somebody you know? Paul Ware? Or P. Ware? Oh, P. Cooper. Paul. Oh, I see. All right, so we got Peter Cooper. Yay. Oh, well, so why, do, why don't we give somebody a chance to pick another ticket? Find some, maybe. Yeah. Would you like to pick? Oh. A Caesar's Palace ticket? Number set, ten of spades. What color? Re it's red. Oh, it's right here. All right. Some of them will go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we have another Paris Casino, Four of Clubs, blue, blue card, Paris Casino, did you win? Paris, Four of Clubs? Beautiful, yay! Why did you grab, why did you pick the next ticket, Joanne? Okay. Oh, yes, Thank you. We're trying to move it along. Yay. All right. We have another Queen's Casino black card. Black card, Queen's Casino, and it's the three of spades. Is that you? No? Queens? Queens Casino, three. Three of spades. Queens. What? Woo, does it match? Yes. So we find one that doesn't have a name. And what, can you pick a winner here? Yeah. Can you pick that one? Another comment? Another one? Thank you. All right, now we have a purple. The Cosmopolitan Casino. Purple, and we have the Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds, the Cosmopolitan Casino. Cosmopolitan yes. Casino, yes. Eight of Diamonds. There you go, Those sir. Are Those are All right. Yeah. Pick a, choose a gift. You have to pick a gift. All right. No, don't look in. Just... Okay. Yeah, she told me that, too. Uh, Kendall and Donnell, go pick a gift. Elias, what do you want? Donnell, you won. Come on, zip along. Come on. All right, pick it up. All right, which one? We'll, we'll get, I guess, we'll get pasta. Cheryl Lee looked out the window last time. She goes, it's snowing. No, you need to put the name of that. No, I have to have a name yeah. of it. No, like, no, yeah, no, just pick the card. No, no, you can't. No, you need the gifts that don't have a name on it. I have no name Double care. All right, man, we're back to the Paris Casino. Blow. Paris Casino, Jack. Of spades. Oh! Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh my. Woohoo! Huh? Uh, pasta. Spaghetti. Here, um, here, pick another one. Oh, it's Bill. Give him the kids' choice. No, I'll give him the turkey best. 
Can I have the winning ticket? No, John has it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man, we're back to the Paris Casino. This is ridiculous. All right, Blue Paris Casino, King of Clubs. Somebody. King of Clubs. Blue Paris. All right. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. There's about 10 on the parish now. Eight on the finance. Okay. 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 Can't have a minute. Okay. Okay. No. No. Yes. You and your assistant, we got to get somebody else. Right? You get a free minute. Parish Council is really, really an advisory board. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has the final say on everything. You know, so. Yeah, no problem. So, did you choose your goal? Yes, you the never had that. that. You can take yeah. that with you, can't you? Yeah. No, it is. I didn't have it all. All right. What do we have? How many left? Yeah. Susan, how many do we have left? I want to take this one. Where have we gone? Oh, all right. So, this is what we have left. We have this. Okay, we have the Queen's Casino, black card, two of spades. Black card, Queen's Casino, two of spades. Is somebody here tonight? Yay! Come on, Mary Ann. Excellent, and, and grab a grab a winner. We have those two left. Pick the next winner. Oh, pick the next pick the next winner. <laughs> Excellent. No, Mary Ann. Yeah, Mary Ann. We have one, two, three, four. Look at this table. We have these four. Oh, okay. These are this is no this is kids' toys. Right. Got it? Excellent. Thank you. Thank Marianne, that's bigger than you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, Elias, pick one, maybe. All right, please, who's this? Uh, All right. Caesar's Palace. We got, we got a Caesar's Palace, Jack of Spades. All right, Jack. Thank you, everyone. Here you go, Bob. Okay, you got them all? Yep. Okay. Now, if everyone can take out their half a ticket that they ripped off at the door. We got four to draw here, just four for the door prizes. You ready? Yellow, 36. I can tell you. I can tell. You can stay there. You might as well put your ticket away. Yes. Yellow, 79. Yellow, 100. 100. 100. Yellow. Maybe 100 went away. 75, right here, honey. Right here. Right, right there, right yeah. there. Right 75 is right here. No. I Did didn't call 75. Oh, you didn't call yellow no. 75? Oh. Nope. She called. She said. Yeah. 
Yeah, it did. It did, it did cost 75. Did you make an excuse? Nope. Yeah. It was 79 dip. 79. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right. Yellow, 67. One last one, yellow, five, six, 56. Uh, 56. <laughs> See? Those, those, those who wait. Those who wait. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. So before we conclude, I'd like to invite our kitchen crew out for a great big hand. Anthony, Lisa, and the rest of the crew. Thank you. That's three times. for coming this evening and we're looking forward to seeing you next year.